What's going on guys, it's Channel 3D, and this is a top 5 Minecraft seeds for Tetra OPD 31, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, as well as PlayStation 3. So let's get right into it. This top 5 list is co consists of seeds that I've already shown throughout the channel, but it does have one original one that I haven't shown before. So these are the 5 seeds. So I'm going to link the seeds in the description below, but let's just get right into number 5, Tutorial World. The name of this seed is Tutorial World. Again, this seed was mentioned to me by Zach Jameson. So let's go right into it and see why this is the top. Or, I mean, my, this is my personal list of top five. I know everyone's opinions is going to differ, but it's just my list. So, as you can see, look at that. The massive maze of biome. Yes, massive maze of biome with a mob spawner right here, right next to spawn. If you looked uh, where I spawned it right there, so you get all this sweet loot, especially the saddles, which is super great, because you can't get that anywhere else. And it's kind of annoying trying to find it yourself. Three saddles. You start off three saddles. Uh, I marked this to uh, mark where I spawned when I originally just generated the sword. But look at that. Look how massive this Mesa biome is. It is definitely... A great seed. Only a downside to the seed is it does not have the ice spike biome or an ocean monument. Like, considering how much water is in this seed, you would assume there had an ocean monument, but look at this massive amount of mesa terrain. Just great. This is a great seed. If we go back, there is also. <clears throat> there is also a village near where spawn is which is super great also and if you look all the way in the north part or the top part of the map there is another village over there so this uh, seed has two villages super cool especially with the mob spawner right at spawn you can like easily make some mob trap or mob uh, mob grinder if you want so here's the uh, really small village but it's cool just being able to trade with villagers so Having a village here is just uh, definitely great if you're going to do a survival world or you just want to mess around with a massive amount of Mesa. But, yep, pretty cool. Definitely you're in top 5, in my opinion. But not much to mention about that. If you look right here, uh, I marked the end portal, but I found out while well, I've been looking at these seeds, I found out earlier that and portals kind of spawn in random places no matter if you put the same seed so it might be here for you but it also just might spawn in a completely different place than where this one is uh, there's not lava because I accidentally struck water while it's digging up so that's why it's all obsidian but yeah pretty great seed and if you really love mesa biome terrain then this is definitely a great seed that I'm sure you'll love. But that's pretty much it with this one. Let's move on to number four. Again, I'll link all the seeds in the description below in case you just uh, want to type them out. Or I know it'd be annoying trying to look for them in the actual video. So I'll just link them all in the description below. So let's leave that one. And number four. Merry Xmas. Oh, that's great. Right here. Number four. So if you do not want massive mesa biomes, maybe you want massive ice spike biomes. Which is what this seed consists of. It's even got a cool little mini mesa biome down here. I don't believe this has any NPC villages from what I remember. I don't, yeah, I don't remember this seed having any NPCs villages. But it is one of the only seeds that I know that have a... <clears throat> that have the mesa biome and an ice bike biome unfortunately no ocean monument on this either though but it does have ice spikes so yeah nice look at that and it's a great amount i love it when it's just like a huge amount because it's so difficult to find look at these stars definitely worthy but yep yeah. If you're really interested in ice bike balance, definitely see. I've already shown this one before.
but in the previous video I did not show that there is also another ice spike biome and I found a mob spawner in a pretty neat spot I'll go over there after showing you so there's two ice spike biomes in this seed really cool really neat let's go ahead and move on to the mob spawner so yeah no ocean monument if it did have an ocean monument then I would say this would be like one of the most perfect seeds because it would have like almost all the features uh, that you'd want from Tidal Update 31 besides the Mega Tiger Bomb. So right here, if you look on this part of the map, you'll see a monster spawner. Really cool. Just peeking out like this. Look at all those name tags. So many name tags. And saddles for your horses. But yep. Yeah. You also have root forest biomes around. Not too much else special about it. Just a giant mass of ice spike biomes. A cool mob spawner. And that's pretty much it. You got swamp biomes too. Let's go ahead and move on to number three. Again, I will link all these seeds in the description below. Just in case you didn't hear before. Number three. Herobrine Seed. This one I've showed before. It has five NPC villages in one world. Classic size world to be exact. And so if you real if you're really into like trading or like an economies type of survival, then this is definitely a great seed. I even really like it myself. I mean I like all these seeds, but you know what I mean. So you spawn right there, right in the middle of three NPC villages. Right there. Two of them have blacksmith chests, but yeah, and then there'll be other villages around. Just some iron armor there. And going down over here, you also have a desert temple right next to the village. Whoop, that's this. And so these items right here tend to be random for world. Like sometimes you, you might get this diamond, you might not. It's pretty random. You're not going to get the exact same loot as what's shown here. I mean, unless you got, like, the same type of... No matter what... Like, again, the... <clears throat> I'm sorry. This, uh... The loot for the villages will be the same. But the loot for the temples will be different. That's just how it is for some reason. I do not exactly know why. I guess they just decided to make that random. But here is the next little blacksmith station so let's go ahead and take a look in your chest just diamond horse armor more pants apple and three bread if you look over here uh fourth village the other cool part of the seed it has an ocean monument so it is definitely a survival if you really haven't started a survival world but i'm assuming almost everybody that watching this video has definitely started survival world it's just my like <clears throat> one of the last showcases i'll be doing but for the seeds and over here is the last village again with another blacksmith station and you get apples nice let's go ahead and go to the ocean monument sadly no mesa biome or ice bike biome but uh, once again, I know like a lot of people that actually just want the villages instead of the biomes, so it is a great seed, especially since villages seem to have been getting rare for some reason in Title Update 31. So somewhere around here, I believe it might be over there. Let me just double check. Mm. Nope, definitely over here. Just a lot of water. You got your, some some vanna biomes on this side, as you can see. So keep going over here, and right over here, you can see even the Elder Guardians already popping up before the Ocean Monument. But right here, so this has five villages, one Ocean Monument. Pretty great, and definitely great for a survival so let's go ahead and move on to number two number two isn't too special there's just like one super cool feature that i really liked and that was the way like the world generated the seed is called save the rabbits this is one that i just like typed in and found 
So let's go ahead and load in. And right here you'll spawn around this direction. I obviously place this just for like marking reasons. Uh, really cool. You spawn next to a blacksmith station. Nothing too special in here, but I mean it's nice. You got a saddle, so that's great. <laughs> and if you have three players, then armor for everyone, or four if you can. Next, four if you split the plants, <clears throat> the pants too. But right here, look how cool the world generated. That's not even like the best part. Right here, I obviously, I have a night vision potion right now. I can't remove it. Unless I drink a milk bucket. Let's go ahead and do that, actually, to be able to show this easier and see how neat it actually looks. There we go. This is how it looks. So, pretty neat. Because, like, mobs just, like, ja <clears throat> naturally spawn right here. Making it super cool. And you can, like, just, like, make it a private little mob slaying area if you want to. Especially since it's close to spawn if you decide to fight around or build around here for us but right here the different type of mesa biome i can't recall the name exactly but there's two types one is the plainy area that i've been showing a lot a lot and the second one is more like mountainy or spiky i guess a lot could be like a lot more canyony <laughs> if uh if you get what i mean but Pretty neat to see, nothing too special. I'm shocked this does not have an ocean monument. It does have another village here, and I believe it might have a village up there. I can't exactly remember. But over here, if you look all the way over here, it does have some pretty neat mob spawners. So let me go ahead and use these again. That way you can just get there faster. And we'll be able to see the mob spawner here. Okay. So we're right here. I believe if you just keep going this way, you'll be able to see it. Unless it was in a different seed. Hmm. I could have sworn there were some mob spawners somewhere there. But up here, just some Vanna biomes. And going over here right here the last village three villages in one seed and no ice bike bound no ocean monument again i'm shocked that <laughs> with all this water there's no ocean monument and right here's the end portal but remember i think all the end portals are generated at random so most if you generate a world in this <clears throat> if you type in the same exact seed as this as what it is in this world, uh, chances are you're gonna get a completely different seed. Not seed, a completely different end portal location. I've been testing it a bit. It might be here, it might be here. Mm, no, nope. I'm really sorry guys, I could have sworn there was some sort of mob spawner, mob spawner around here. It might have been in one of the previous seeds that I've shown. But let's not waste time there. If uh, if there is one, I'll like put an annotation that there is or not once I find it. So let's keep going. So not too much special. I just really loved how the because I mean, for when I was searching for seeds a lot, it, this felt pretty relieving to find something pretty out of the ordinary. So it was really cool just to find something like this. It might not actually deserve the number two spot, but definitely a really cool feature. Especially with that right next to it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Number one coming our way. Number one, number one, number one, number one, number one. Merry Xmas. I guess uh, they put the Merry Christmas thing. There you go. <laughs> In preparation for the holidays. That's really cool. If you saw the title logo next to the Minecraft Xbox. <clears throat> Minecraft Xbox title. But once again, these seeds work for Minecraft PlayStation 3, Play PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, as well as PlayStation Vita. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, as you can see, this seed, 
I could not find a better seed than this one. From all the seeds I've searched, I've literally almost searched a thousand seeds trying to find a better one that could beat this one, but nope. This is definitely still deserves number one spot. I place this nether portal. I'm going to address the nether portal spawning problem. So once again, for some reason, the <clears throat> if you look closely here, I have enders go towards here, but before in my other video they would go here and for some reason I can't find an end portal on this world but I did find out on the other world that I spawned with this same seed so there's been some like spawning bugs possibly but really cool here is a village the seed comes with the village but why is it number one because it's like right next to spawn too <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm getting like really mixed up but why I think this is number one seed. A Mesa Biome, and a really cool one. Really, really nice one that's right next to an Ocean Monument. Look at that, Mesa Biome right next to Ocean Monument, right next to Spawn pretty much. And next to Spawn is really a Savannah Biome that's right next to a village, so really, I mean, I don't know how any other seed will be able to beat this. There probably is one better that's been found, but I mean, I've never just, uh, I never found any information on another one. And there's, uh, another part of the love about this seed is just these built-in ravines that you could have easy access to. Really cool, a lot of cave systems you could already enter without actually having to look for caves. And if we look over here, just one little desert temple. Nothing too special. Once again, the loot will be random, so let's go ahead and just see what this loot is. And a lot of gold, rotten flesh, bones, diamonds, three of them too. So, once again, it could be different. It might not be diamonds for you, you just have to like keep making a new seed if you really want the diamonds. Until it pops up. And, <clears throat> but yeah, this is definitely a great seed. If you, on the north side of the map, there's just a lot of root forest. This, this would be definitely the perfect seed if it had ice spike biome, in my opinion, and a mega taiga biome. But I know more people are worried about the ice spike biome than the mega taiga biome. So you got some cool jungle. So you have access to jungle wood here. And if you look over here, some pretty decent sized root forest. Not too big, but very important that it came with swamp biome which is great for slime spawning pretty crucial especially for the new slime blocks the swamp biomes here are, all, <clears throat> are also pretty big or pretty like decent sized where you can just like wait at night or even day to have them spawn but pretty neato look at these caves there's just so many caves I love seeds that have so many caves and you just got like tiny mace biome there but look at this. I love the way this is formed. I can like easily picture myself making a ton of rooms or like systems, like dental systems, like with like my friends and stuff, with like a lot of different people. But another problem I want to address: people have been saying that you cannot find a Nether fortress on the seed. Now I've been looking into it, and it spawn there is another fortress but there might be a spawning problem i've tested it about three times i've got the same result and i think most people's problem is that they haven't found this area because on the other side of this this is like a completely cut off area from like another side if you keep digging over there there's like an even bigger nether area so i don't think people really know about this area I just want to show that there's proof that there is an actual nether fortress on the seed. It might be a different problem similar to the end, end dimension portal uh, not spawning sometimes as of title update 31. But I just want to show proof that there's actually is a nether fortress. And I'll show one more example. Actually, I'll just explain it. If I was to put a portal like near the village, it'll, it'll like spawn me on the other side of the nether. Because you know the nether is like a lot smaller than the overworld, but... <clears throat> but you get the picture if you've been in this game for a while. 
So, yep, this was number one, definitely number one. Uh, I could not find a better seed than this. And if you look over here, another nice, really cool addition is that there's even a sunflower seed. <clears throat> not sunflower seed, sunflower field. So I thought that was really neat, really cool. Especially, I've, I've really not seen too many sunflowers in worlds when I was looking for seeds, but so this is a pretty big uh, bonus. <clears throat> But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This will be this will be one of my last videos for a while. But I really appreciate all the support, you guys. You guys are all amazing. Thanks for all these great experiences and for all these awesome seeds. If you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out and just shows you guys are super awesome. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Again, thank you so much, everyone, for everything. You guys are the best.